See, when you go to Bible school, you learn about the Bible, right? And this is a part of the Bible. <laughs> so, she opens up with that quote, and or a quote, sorry, not, excuse me, a quote from that section of the Bible. And then, you know, it explains... The only thing that's different is that Patch wasn't one of the angels that waged war. He actually falls in love with a mortal girl and he tries to take over a mortal mortal's body. And so that is against the rules. You can't go into mortal's bodies and take it over. That's not allowed. So he was cast out from heaven. So there's more than one way in her book to get cast out from heaven. I'm assuming there's also more than one way in the Bible as well. You know, obviously angels have certain rules they have to follow, right? Because they're angels. <laughs> um, but, yeah. How her, what happens when they fall is that these other angels, they get their wings taken out and they're, you know, pushed down and they're not allowed to feel anything anymore. Um, and the only way they can feel is if they take over a human's body and they have this incredible need to do that, too. And the only way they can do, go into a human's body if, is if they go during a time period on, oh, what is it? It's on the Jewish calendar. I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name because it's in Hebrew and I don't speak Hebrew. I don't know a lot. Of, I know like Shalom and that's about it. But it was a Hebrew name and it was a, a during a certain month when, oh, uh, I'm sorry, but you know. She incorporates all these other elements besides, you know, oh, he's a fallen angel to make it interesting. You know, she has kind of this religious thing going on here a little bit. Not too much. It's subtle, which is nice. But you, you do notice that there is this idea that not all fallen angels are good and everything like that. I'm sorry. I can't, I'm, I'm a little bugged about that name. Oh, I can't remember the month. Um, why don't we, oh wait, I forgot about the, Nor something else about Norgret. Um, there's this part in the book where someone enters her room and she doesn't know who the heck it is and everything. And so she calls the cops. Um, I know a lot of people are like, are probably thinking, yay, because in some other books like Bella, Let's Edward sneak into her room. Or like, well actually that's after, sorry, excuse me. Before, you know, when Bella didn't know Edward had been sneaking in or she doesn't call or tell her dad or anything like that. And he's the cop. <laughs> sorry. She lives with her cop. But, um. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, right. So, and she didn't do anything about it. Uh, Nora Gray does something about it. It's not the, it's not Patch, by the way. It's not the love interest. It's actually one of the villains. There's two. There's a girl and a guy. The girl is jealous of Nora because she's in love with Patch. Right. You have to have one of those, right? Uh, the other one is trying to get revenge against Patch because he's the person that Patch uses um, during that month. To take over his body so he can feel it again and everything. Uh, but yeah, so she calls, she knows, like, when she's in danger, she has to call the cops. She knows that that's something that she needs to do when she's in trouble. Real quick, moving on to the bad, or the ugly, whatever you want to call it. The bad and the ugly. I didn't like, I didn't like Patch's personality, and I, I won't elaborate too much on that. I just didn't really like it. Uh, and her and her best friend V. Oh my, V is very stupid. No, no, I'm not. I'm not joking. She like she thinks Red Hots, you know, the candy that tastes like cinnamon. If I remember, I haven't had Red Hots in a while. She's eating this candy, and she thinks it's a vet. Or, no, a fruit. She counts it as her as her fruit. What? Since when did candy become a fruit? I'm sorry. So she counts as a fruit. 
and so many other things that V does is kind of really stupid. But obviously, you know that she has a good friendship with Nora. Nora cares about her a lot. And actually, that's really much it. Overall grade, a C. It was an average book, but an enjoyable book, and I recommend it. Bye.